The British Lion Mark is one of the UK's most trusted food safety schemes. One of the foundations of maintaining this trust is the auditing system, which is carried out by NSF, one of the world's biggest auditing companies. We're really lucky today to be joined by Penny Sawyer from NSF. Perhaps you could start by talking about what is auditing and how does it play a fundamental part in our scheme? Auditing is critical to mitigate risk and protect businesses and brands. Auditing involves regular and thorough checks of a system. Consumers now more than ever are concerned about where their food comes from and we undertake regular and thorough checks against the Lion Code standards to ensure that consumer can have trust in what they're buying. What are the type of things an auditor would be looking for when they're on site? So the auditors will arrive on site, they will inspect all buildings, the bird housing, making sure the site's registered to the Lion Code scheme and they've got their certificate in place. We'd check the bird numbers on site to make sure that they match up with the capacity. We'd look at factors such as biosecurity, which should be from the entrance to the site and then onward, making sure all those controls are in place. Bird welfare, of course, is important to consumers and the Lion Code scheme. So we do checks inside the housing, looking at litter quality, bird condition, making sure that their environment is adequate. And we would do a thorough check of records. Record keeping is absolutely key to management. It allows us a very useful tool for verification. So we can check is what's being done being recorded. So we have proof that you know checks are being undertaken. So while that seems really comprehensive, lots of stops and checks in place, what happens next then, Penny? So once the audit has been completed, the sites are left with what we'd call a non-conformance report. That's a summary of the findings on the day. So that might be no non-conformance is raised, or it might be that there's some elements that were raised on the day that then need to be closed out. Once the auditor has left that with the site, they then also submit the full report and the non-conformance report into NSF. That then goes through technical review. Now the technical review is undertaken by someone trained to review against the Lion Code scheme, but they're independent of that audit that took place. If there were findings raised on the day, the producer will then have to submit what we'd call corrective action, which is evidence to show that the issue that was found on the day of the audit has been sufficiently rectified. Once they've submitted that, that again will go through a review. We will then close out the report and certify it. That's where we issue the producer with their Lion Conformity Certificate. If a critical non-conformance is raised during the audit, and that's defined by the Lion Code scheme, then BEIC will be informed as soon as that audit report comes through. So the site may be suspended until they submit their corrective finding. We'd keep BEIC up to date of all those farms that are having those audits and making sure that each farm registered to the scheme is kept certified. Well Penny, thank you so much for your insight into what is auditing and what an important role it plays in the British Lion Mark scheme to ensure that we can give confidence and safety, provenance and quality to the consumer. Thank you very much Penny.